Signal Fox WordPress Quick Tip. And in this video, what I'm going to show you is how simple and easy it is to create a Google sitemap. Now, the reason why you want to create a Google sitemap is um, once you do an update on your site uh, and you create a new post and you add new content, you need to notify Google right away. And the reason why you want to do that is because Google rewards you uh, for the content that you add to your site. And the more frequently that you add content to your site, the higher it's going to get ranked in search engines. And most importantly, you just want it to get indexed into Google. And, and a great way to do that is by using a Google sitemap. So instead of you posting content and then waiting for Google to send out its Google bot to go out and search the web and eventually get into your site and to index your pages, which could take days or weeks or even months because there's billions of sites out there, by using Google sitemap, you're going to tell Google that, hey, I have new content. Whenever you have a second, add me to your list and come right to my site and come check out my new page and index it. So very, very important. It is a, a tool that every website must have. And so what I want to do is show you how to install a plugin in WordPress that makes it simple and easy to do. And you can do it in a, lot, in a matter of just a few minutes. So the first thing that we need to do is come over here to plugins. And I've actually already installed the plugin and here it is it is Google sitemap okay XML sitemap and mine is a Google XML sitemap with multi-site support and the reason I have that is because I converted my blog into a network blog which basically has multiple blogs and sites instead of just one and um, look through the videos or send me an email and I can tell you exactly how to do that it's, it's actually uh, very simple there's some steps that, that you're going to need to do but if you have just a regular WordPress site that is not a multi-site, then all you need to do is download Google XML sitemaps under plugins and install that. So uh, what we need to do is go ahead and activate it and uh, then go over here to settings and you're going to see XML-sitemap. Okay, um, I've actually already created the sitemap on this site, um, but what you would see here is it would say um, you have not built your sitemap yet. So what you want to do is just basically click that, uh, uh, build the sitemap, and it will automatically create the sitemap for you uh, right, right there on the, on the spot. And then it'll tell you when the last build is, and it will create this zip file for you. And then it'll tell you, hey, I've contacted Google for you, Bing, and also Ask. So as soon as you go in and you do an update, it's automatically going to just send a ping or basically a, 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 an email or notification that's saying, hey, um, you know, we've updated the site and this is where it is. Um, there's other things that you can do with this sitemap. You can use it with WordMaster tools. You can use it with a couple other Google things that will help you to learn more information about your site. So this is really great. Um, I, you can click here and you can even see your sitemap and how it's been created for you and all the different pages. Uh, it shows you by popularity, day of frequency, and, and all that. So uh, there's a lot of other features that you can go through and read uh, down here. Like for example, you can notify Google of your updates, but you're going to need to get an API in order to do that. And uh, a couple of uh, other uh, features that are down here at the bottom that I don't necessarily want to get into depth in this in this short video because I like to keep the quick tips short and sweet. So thank you guys uh, very much for uh, visiting this WordPress quick tip. If you have any questions or comments or concerns, please use the comment box down below. That's why it's there so that I can help you. Um, I always love to get feedback um, if you like a plugin uh, or if you have a suggestion of something that uh, you can use with this particular plugin, use the comment box down below and let me know um, exactly what you think. Also, please help me to continue to share these videos with all of your friends and social media is a great way to do that and you can either share it on Facebook by clicking the like button and leaving a comment or also retwittering it and, and continue to spread the word. So thank you guys very much and I look forward to seeing you guys online soon.